Hello and welcome to Inside Katana on Trust TV. I am Ibrahim Yusuf. Thanks for joining us. Now, having a landmass of 24,192 square kilometers, land is one of the major resources Katana State has at its disposal. And proper utilization of such a vital resource goes a long way in ensuring much needed development for the people. Now, to this end, Katsana State Government, under the stewardship of Governor Aminu Bella Masari, has made the proper allocation and utilization of land its top priority. On Inside Katsana this week, we caught up with Usman Nadada, the Honorable Commissioner of Lands and Survey Katsana State, where he leads us on a journey into the activities of the ministry, from the situation he met on ground to his targets and objectives, which include how he is making efforts to digitize the operations of the ministry to get the best out of his staff and to better serve the people of Katsina State. How far has the ministry come under his stewardship in the past three years? Let's take a look. Already I met a system that has been working since the creation of the state, but that has been analog. It was not uh, computerized, not digitalized, or anything like that. The system was just moving, just um, naturally. There was no much effort to push it using brains and the current uh, situation of the world. That's how I made it. And um, some of the workers, because of the way the system was, were not current and a little bit of uh, confusion and corruption within the system. So that's what I met on ground. And there were a lot of, uh, shall I say, misgivings or something like that with the workers and the ministry. I've been in the sector since uh, at least 1991, effectively, when I joined the system, 1991 to date. So I rode through the ranks from level nine when I came in up to the, this time. I rode through the ranks to become the general manager of the Katana State of our general planning board, right from a senior town planner. So, but I was working as a planner in an urban board while the ministry is a different world of a game. There was supposed to be a synergy between the two much synergy but when i came on seat i found out that a lot of things need to be done especially the issue of technology uh, there are so many things first as i told you the system was analog there was nothing modern in the system one secondly the number of certificates in the state right from creation to the time I came in, or shall I say, up to 2015, executed certificates which the governor or his project signed were not up to 10,000. In fact, there are just about 8,000 plus. There is a lot of backlog. A lot of the land within Katsina State have not been captured. So it was just a, not, a, I would not call it a legal uh, spaces, but they have not been captured. A lot of revenue has not, cannot be sourced from the land sector because there was no data on that. One, because of the system I met on ground and the, willing, and the focus of government, they just don't see land as a source. They look at it as a political, a place for political patronage. So we met with my Oga with the, His Excellency, mm. and he understood what the problem is. So we started digitizing the system, and any time we send a certificate for him to sign, he will sign it within 24 hours. And he gave us consent as a commissioner to sign in areas that have no layout, have no approved layout. So from that time to date, I think we have executed more than 20,000 certificates, which uh, given what we met on ground, is a, 
is, is, is something commendable. More than more than 20,000, at least as of uh, last month, we have around 40,000 certificates that we have executed. And this system we have uh, worked out now is just about 40% of what we have designed. He has given us approval now that by June, the entire system of land in Kazakhstan will be computerized. Part of the program I have designed with my colleagues, which have been approved by His Excellency, and in fact, the Executive Council, is to capture all lands within the state, to have them certificated, and then to the certificate existing ones with the old certificate, that one that has that long, bulky, massive papers. That is one. And thirdly, titles that extend hands be documented. And the entire land uh, sector transactions to be captured within the system. So these are the three or four main issues that we are handling state by state. And by Allah's grace, before the end of this year, fully will be on stream to digitize the entire system of the land ministry. That is the survey, the planning board, and the land administration. When, when, when we digitize the ministry, we bring on board the survey and the planning board. So the signature has been improved quite effectively. And we're having series of meetings almost each month Apart from the management meeting we are doing weekly, each month we have that senior management meeting between URPB, SIB, and the land ministry. And because of this focus we have to gestize the entire land system, we are having many minutes, uh, meetings constantly. And we have come up with a proposal, which I told you already the executive council has approved, and uh, a consultant with a contractor sort of, we as clients have been approved and we are working towards implementing the term of references given to us. His Excellency quite knows a lot about land because he has been working even before his election as a governor. So he knows a lot of lands right from Funtua to Daura to Kazana. So when we brought the proposal, he agreed and we, it's in stages which we have been doing. If you look at, uh, apart from the road network which have improved, you see in Kazana, Daura, and the major towns, the deliberate attempt by government to encourage uh, associations, trade associations, to own their own land so as to boost their trade. Secondly, to capture them when collecting revenue. And thirdly, to decongest existing urban areas. If you take the case of Kazana, you see what we call young uh, kayang sanyi, these uh, vegetable sailors. We created a kutungu specifically for them at the ring road outside this town. You look at Nkataku, this is the furniture, the, the, the Nkataku. Then we have the furniture, you know Kazana is a leading uh, town in furniture making because of our proximity to Niger. Mm -hmm. So deliberately, we created a furniture hub along Jibia Road to boost this trade and capture those people going to Kano to buy furniture. That is another example. Another example is the issue of Antipa. Mm -hmm. We took them outside the town also after the ring road to boost their trade and to control them. A lot of all these trade associations will help done that so as to congest. And part of it is when you enter, that's the Katana, I'm talking to you about Katana specifically, at the central Mox area, that's the center of the town, mm -hmm. you see the informal sector, the informal traders have taken over the Ministry of Information, the NA Ministry of Information. So we decided, since we can't every day take them out, so we decided to relocate that teacher service board and those agencies around outside the town and then create another commercial hub at that uh, point so as to do with how the time is. <laughs> then part of it is there's this part of the restoration agenda of this uh, government 
was to create almost a new city mm. outside this existing one. So part of it is to create a polo ground, which is a traditional game, non, or shall I say, originating from Kazana, mm. the tough crop by Sukwa. Mm. So we created another almost town, neighborhood, which is the center of it, the nucleus of it, is the polo and the top club. Mm. Part of that design, you have more than 1,000 houses, you have the polo club, you have the hotels, five-star hotels all around, you have a, a educational uh, sites all within that site, just around nine kilometers away from the center of the town along Jibia Road. And that place, you, on the right-hand side, you are going to have the railway uh, station. So we want to create another hub, another town in that direction that will connect from Jibia Road to Bazaari Road to Duzama Road. Maybe 10 to 15 years, you will see another town springing up. That has been approved. A consultant has been appointed, which he designed all this and we have uh, almost gone on ground. And that uh, proposal is fully privately driven approach. The government is not going to allocate land, but private developers which already have signed agreement with them are going to take over the site. I think after Salah we are going to have the launching of that tone. Rural urban migration is definitely an issue for most capital cities, and Katsina is no exception. Decongesting the city centre is one task the Ministry of Lands and Survey is taking quite seriously. We'll take a break right now, and when we return, Inside Kazana continues. Stay with us.
Welcome back and thanks for staying with us on Inside Kazana on Trust TV. Now we're still talking to Usman Nadada, the Honorable Commissioner of Lands and Survey, as he takes us through his stewardship of the ministry. As I told you initially, when we came in, it was an analog system. You have these massive plants, about maybe two, three pages, big as this, and they are not digitized. So it's a, in fact, it's just a analog. Let's, let me use that word. I should not be derogatory. So when we came in, we changed the certificate to digital one, just a piece of paper like that. Maybe I'll show you one. So the ease of getting certificates now. Initially, at least, you can get a certificate in less than five months. Five months, especially mm. <coughs> certificates that have to do with uh, petrol stations. Mm. Five months. <coughs> five months. Petrol stations, commercial things, because you have to go around and get other approvals from other relevant agencies, such as Commerce, uh, Fire Brigade, Police, uh, and the rest of them. But now we simplify it. We brought a system of land title registration, where when you just fill the form, all those inspections are done in that group. That's a group standing in the ministry, comprising all these uh, agencies that will sit and within that day of inspection, give approval or not. Then we go through the system. Our surveying now is digitalized. It's no longer that manual one that you take about seven days to do. Within 15 minutes, you have done your survey, depending on the acreage. That's one. And when you do the survey, which are, you just send it to the ministry, there's a connection between the ministry, the planning board, and uh, the survey that is computerized. There's no need to do anything manual. So now, to get your certificate, whether it is by government uh, land or your own land will not take you 14 days by Allah's grace. You see whatever you are doing, you are doing it on land. Mm -hmm. And most investments, almost all investments, either you are sourcing for a loan or you don't, you have to have certificate for you to have uh, what you call a guarantee. If you are not sourcing for a loan, you have to have certificates for you to have planner approvals for you to assess any other thing, even EIA, all these things you are going to do, once you are investing, you are creating a project, you must have a certificate. So we are having a close relationship. Whatever KIPA does, that's the Kavana Investment Promotion Agency and the Ministry of Commerce and all of these things who are closely related. We work very close because whatever they are going to do, they have to put us in. And whatever we're going to do, we're designing maybe a layout for industrial, for commercial, we have to invite them to give us an idea of the current trends of what they, 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 they need. So we're working very closely. And that's why we decided to destroy the system so as to our people benefit mm -hmm. from the advantages of having a CFO, that is the certificate. Once you don't have CFO, you cannot assess for money in the bank. In fact, you cannot get so many certificates from other agencies for you to exist. And thirdly, that certificate, even individually, you use it maybe uh, in courts and in so many places. When you come to the issue of security, that's another different world of a game. We have a program in the ministry. This GIS we are going to do, and another program by CIPTAS mm -hmm. is to register almost all parcels of land, who own that land, who lives on that land, and the tenure of that land. That will indicate, supposing this house, who owns this house, and who is living in that house. We are going to have a picture, and we'll put it in computer. We'll share it with relevant agencies. And you know, uh, criminals, they don't like to be known. Mm -hmm. So we believe when we continue with this program, a lot of people that are criminals will decide to live uh, we sat with the SA security and uh, our His Excellency, and we tried to do this program to capture that to do sort of census of all uh, properties within Katana State, and that uh, census will, will entail 
that whoever entered that house must fill a form with us. When you fill that form, you have your own picture, and we will ask you whether you are a tenant or you are the landlord, you own that house. So through that, we believe we'll capture and we'll find out so many things. We will not say you have 100% uh, effective system. We should have at least 80% system that is working that will have less human interference. You will have digital working. Everybody will go by computer. That minimizes corruption and improves efficiency and cut or reduces time wastages. That's my own, my own aim, one. Secondly, for the workers to see that this work we are doing, we are doing it for the people of Kazan State and they should have more commitment in seeing that land, which is key to everything in the economy, is at its place at its central uh, location, at its central law. So they should play a very, very positive role in seeing that the land sector is effective so that it will move the other sectors for the benefit of Kazana people. You see, His Excellency is almost, uh, we will not call him a boss. We will not call him a boss. Because this is somebody that you sit, you talk, you argue, he will give you his own, you, in fact, he will listen to the spirit argument. And he's always willing for you to learn and for him to learn. And hardly do we, after talking, after all this, will not approve what you have sent. And uh, working closely with him, I found out that he's somebody that wants to move the set forward so much, especially on the issue of lands. In fact, that's why he gave me the portfolio of Commissioner of Lands. I know what has been going on so that I should put a correction to what the wrong uh, did before. Now, this has been Inside Katsana on Trust TV, and we've been chatting with Usman Nadada, the Honorable Commissioner Lands and Survey where he gave us insights into the giant strides the administration of Governor Aminu Bella Masari is taking in the area of effective land allocation and usage in Katsuna State. Now join us again next week on Inside Katsuna, where we take another deep dive into another sector undergoing monumental changes in Katsuna State. Until then, I'm Ibrahim Yusuf. Thanks for joining us.